India is a land of Hindu mythology and temples. It has been accumulating the sacred stories and heroic epics that make up the mythology of Hindus. There are more than two million temples in India, and some are most important and famous temple. One of them is Konark. Now let's know about its history. There was a king in Konark named King Nara Simadeva, first of the Eastern Ganga dynasty. About 1250 CE, he wanted to build a temple for God Surya, sun god, who he calls many sculptors for this job and places a condition upon them. The condition is that the idol of the god Surya should not be placed on the ground but should be on the air, and the ones who propose an idea for this will be spared, and the rest will be killed. Among the many sculptors, one sculptor wife was pregnant back home. They both were happy for having baby, but they don't have enough money. So he planned to go for work and earn money. While leaving, he gave a special apple to his wife, which he planted in their garden. As per the blueprint of temple designed by engineer, they started construction work. Years and years passes for constructing the temple. Ten years later, After 10 years, the kid asks his mother about his father's whereabouts. His mother tells him that his father is working for the construction of the Konark temple. He asks that how can he find his father. His mother gives the apples which his father planted in their house and says that his father will recognize. And so the kid went to Konark in search of his father. As soon as he reached Konark Sun Temple construction, he distributes apples to everyone, and all are discussing the taste of the apple. After having a bite, the kid's father immediately recognizes taste of apple, which he planted at home. And ran towards his son with a lot of happiness. And explains the situation about there. kid understood the problem and gave the solution. Solution for making the idol float in air using magnetic field. But his soon learns about the condition placed by the king. The kid realizes and feels very bad that due to him, all the sculptors would die in vain. So he climbed up top to the Gopura and jumped into the sea and dies. Due to the death of the child, the temple was closed and no one worshipped the god anymore. After many years, when the British were still occupying India, many British ships' compasses were disturbed and destroyed due to the temple's magnetic field caused by the Vimana on top of Gopur. 
So the British peoples attacked the temple and stole the magnetic vimana. Due to the absence of magnetic vimana, the Gopura fell and the temple was destroyed to ruins.